bagels, bagels. Hello, it's a good morning. And now, finally, I came to this place for, uh, famous for bagels. And Montreal supposedly have different type of bagels than New York City, typical New York City bagels. So it's supposed to taste different. So the first place that I'm visiting is this uh, Saint Fiatore bagel. I might butcher the French there, I apologize. But basically you get the idea. And I will also be visiting the other one, the competitor, the other famous bagel shop, the Fairman Bagel, uh, like a couple blocks down after this. So continue uh, watching this video and join me. Try it first without anything. Mm. It's good. Okay. I think it is kind of different than um, New York bagel. It's like a softer, fluffier. So I brought my own knives. They do have knives at the counter, by the way. This is 85 cents for one. Um, but I came ready, prepared, all right? And I even brought my own cream cheese. <laughs> See, I planned for my, um, my quest for the day. Planning, planning, planning. Okay, so I'm just gonna spread a little bit of cream cheese just for tasting I think that should be good at least I got one bite here ready mm. Mm. it's good mm. Mm. and you know what I like you know how like you buy bagel and there's only one side of the top. Uh, the toppings were all in one side. This one, both sides has the topping. So if you're sharing with somebody, you don't need to worry. Mm. This is good. It's definitely soft. A little bit chewy, just like typical bagel, but it's not as dense as the typical um, American bagel. This is good. Mm. Good. All right. Mm. I'm gonna finish it, and I gotta let my cameraman eat this too before it get cold. Right. See you later. There is a line. Look at all those, those stacks of bagels. Tower of bagels. Alright, so I got my bagels. This time I bought um, two kind of bagels because they were just so good. So I got the sesame one. So there's a little bit less sesame than the other place. You could probably see it. Like, see, it's a little bit more scarce. This one is warm though. But we also got a blueberry bagel that's not warm um, and like even by touching it, this is like a rock. So I don't have a good feeling about this one. So anyway, 
let's try the sesame bagel. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. I kind of feel this is a little bit sweeter than the other place. I appreciate the other place for the amount of sesame seeds because they, like I said, they, they put more sesame there. Um, but this one, the bagels are actually um, softer. And let's do the cream cheese. We want to be fair, right? We're comparing the two stores. So we got to do it the same way. Okay. Spread it just a little bit. Yeah, this this definitely feels softer, and I don't know if it's because maybe it's fresher or it's just like the type of bagels they make. Okay, let's try it. Softer definitely than the other place. The other place is chewier. Mm. You know what? Both are really good for the sesame bagel when it's warm. Okay? Mm. Good. Mm. Good. Okay? the blueberry I don't know if you could hear that <laughs> it's hard as a rock even cutting it it's a struggle it's like a workout typical one so look at the bottom and the top like bottom is flat ah, okay so the inside is softer but the outside seems um, kind of hard I'm gonna try the top part cream cheese okay let's just try this Huh? Hmm. So the outside is definitely like thicker and tougher, but when you bite into it, it is still kind of fluffy. In terms of like blueberry bagel though, this is a good blueberry bagel because like you could taste like every single bite you can taste the blueberry flavor in it because if you could see it it seems like maybe they mash the blueberry around instead of just like putting whole blueberries inside the batter okay this is good not not as bad as i thought it's gonna be i thought it's gonna be very tough and chewy but it is still pretty good but i think i have to give it to that sesame bagel though in terms of comparing the two between Sign Fighter and the Fairmont bagel. The one at Sign Fighter, the sesame bagels, I mean, they're just like so much of that sesame seed, so it's like every single bite, you just like enjoy the flavor and the aroma from the sesame seeds, the crispiness of it, the nuttiness, and like, I don't I don't think like I even need cream cheese to, to, to eat that bagel. For Fairmont, I like how like it's just fluffy, um, like softer but I don't know I like my bagel kind of chewy though so for me personally in terms of sesame bagel I'm gonna have to give it the same fighter okay. thank you for joining me uh, in this quest of comparing the two famous bagel shops in Montreal um, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you enjoy this video and share and subscribe see you later